EPL game week 37 only two more game weeks left and then the season is done I can't believe I'm saying that and it all comes down to this week if Manchester City can win this week they win the Premier League title but before we get into that there's so many more games to go without further ado let's dive straight into the predictions sport betting tips predictions subscribe now and get latest updates First up, we've got Tottenham taking on Brentford, a London derby. Now, Tottenham are coming off a 2-1 loss against Aston Villa, where I didn't expect them to win that game. Their away record is so bad at the moment. And that goal that they got was a consolation goal that Harry Kane scored in the 90th minute. So they were outplayed. Aston Villa really did outplay them. Tottenham aren't in the greatest of form at the moment with only one win from their last five. They currently sit seventh with no real shot of playing European football next year, maybe in sort of the conference Europa League if they win a couple of their last fixtures here where Brentford they're on a very very good run with four wins from their last five they're coming off a very very clinical 2-0 win over West Ham where they completely outplayed West Ham West Ham only managed four shots the entire game to Brentford's 24 so the scoreline probably could have been a little bit more Brian and Bemo getting a goal and Juana Vissa getting a goal as well now how do I see this one unfolding while well, Tottenham at home they've been very very good this season if it was away from home I definitely favor Brentford here but Brentford being in good form Tottenham at home I think this is going to be a very very close game I'm going for a 2-2 draw my betting tip is both teams to score Next up, we've got Liverpool taking on Aston Villa. Now, this is a huge, huge game in terms of the top four race for Liverpool. Newcastle just beat Brighton yesterday. So Liverpool need to keep winning if they want to put some pressure on Manchester United and Newcastle. It is very, very close. So if they do keep winning, I do expect Newcastle or Man United to draw or lose one of their last games, which means Liverpool could probably be playing Champions League football next year. And if you said that at the beginning of the season with how Liverpool started, I don't, I think you'd be very, very happy if you're a Liverpool fan. Now, Liverpool came up against Leicester City in a very very clinical performance they beat them 3-0 Curtis Jones got two goals Trent Alexander-Arnold got a goal so it's good to see him getting back to some form Liverpool are also nine games unbeaten at the moment so yes they're coming up against Aston Villa who have also been in very very good form only lost two out of their last five they sit eighth on the table and they would like to end the season off strong Aston Villa is not an easy team to beat. Tottenham can tell you that from last week where they lost 2-1. We just spoke about it. I think this is going to be a very, very competitive game. But Liverpool at Anfield is just another animal at the moment. So I'm going for a 3-1 Liverpool win. And my betting tip is Liverpool at a handicap of minus one and a half. Wolves versus Everton. Now, these are two teams who are playing for two completely different reasons. Wolves sitting 13th, very, very comfortable. They're not going to get relegated this season. And then Everton sits 17th, just one point outside of the relegation zone. And this is basically a must win for them. Now, how did these teams perform last week? Well, Wolves are coming off a 2-0 loss against Manchester United, where they got completely dominated. They didn't manage one shot on target the entire game. Man United just absolutely killed them, were very, very clinical. And Wolves will be slightly worried going into this game against Everton a very desperate side at the moment in need of a win they do not want to get relegated now Everton are coming off a 3-0 loss to Manchester City they were just never ever going to win that game against the best team in the world at the moment being Manchester City so I think they need to put all their focus into this game against Wolves this win could be the difference between them getting relegated or them staying up so I do think with Dominic Calvert-Lewin back Dwight McNeil has been looking great for Everton they need to try and get a win here against Wolves and I do think they're going to be able to do it I'm going for a 2-1 one Everton win and my betting tip is Everton to win. Bournemouth versus Manchester United. Now, nothing to play for Bournemouth. They have secured their spot in the Premier League for next year. Very, very impressive by Bournemouth. I think a lot of people had them going down, me included. Bournemouth even put out a thing on the Instagram of all uh, sort of these YouTubers and pundits putting out their prediction that Bournemouth were going to go down and here they are. They're going to stay up, sitting in 14th. They're coming off a 2-0 loss against Palace, but that doesn't matter because they have stayed up. Now, Manchester United, a lot bigger things happening in that side Manchester United in the top four race with Newcastle themselves and Liverpool Liverpool looking very very good Newcastle really did put out a statement against Brighton last night so Manchester United cannot fumble if they want to play Champions League football next year now Manchester United we just spoke about their 2-0 win over Wolves where they absolutely dominated the game with 27 shots with nine on target so I think that scoreline could have been a whole lot bigger on another day but Man United need to win this game and Bournemouth at home can definitely be a banana skin. The way I see it, Bournemouth have already secured themselves a spot in the Premier League next year. So I don't think they're going to be too eager to win this game. Manchester United need to win it. They need to go away from home and win this. So for me, I'm going for a 3-0 Manchester United win. And my betting tip is Manchester United at a handicap of minus one and a half. 
Fulham versus Crystal Palace. Now, this is a bit of a mid-table clash. Fulham sitting in 10th and Crystal Palace sitting in 12th. Now, Fulham are coming off a very comfortable 2-0 win over Southampton with Carlos Vinicius and Alexander Mitrovic getting goals. Good to see big Metro back there getting some goals. Fulham have also now won back-to-back -back games and are looking like a little bit of a dangerous side. The problem is this is a nothing game. They just want to get the season over and done with. Probably not get injured before they rest. And then Crystal Palace coming off that great 2-0 win over Bournemouth. Eze getting both of Crystal Palace's goals. Like I said, they sit 12th with only two losses from their last five. So this game... I mean, two teams in very, very good form. I do think it's going to be a tough game at Fulham, but I do think Fulham have found a little bit of form and should be able to get this done at home. I'm going for a 2-1 Fulham win, and my betting tip is both teams to score. Nottingham Forest taking on Arsenal. Now, Nottingham Forest coming off a great 2-2 draw against Chelsea. I mean, we're going to speak about Chelsea when we get to Chelsea, but Nottingham Forest only had two shots on target the entire game and scored with both of them. To be fair to them, they did well to hang in there, not let the scoreline run away from them and eventually get in that 2-2 draw. Now, Nottingham Forest are sitting 16th, just three points outside of the relegation zone. So a result here, a good result here for them, would almost ensure them that they don't get relegated at the end of the season. Now, Arsenal, I mean, if you look at the word bottled in the English dictionary, Arsenal will come up under that name because um, I've never seen a team bottle a Premier League like this ever. They've spent 93% of the season in first position only to bottle it right at the end of the season. They're coming off that 3-0 loss to Brighton at home, which I mean, you just can't do if you're trying to win a Premier League. Brighton didn't even play that well. It was just errors from Arsenal's uh, part. I think they just tired come the end of the season. There's not enough depth in that side. And I think that's, if they make a couple of good summer transfers here then i do think arsenal will stand more of a chance next season it's very very disappointing to watch i mean as a manchester united sport i don't want man city to win the premier league again arsenal was so close to it but they bottled it i do think though they need to strike back here still put a little bit of pressure on manchester city there still is a chance if city lose their last three games and arsenal win their last two but i just don't see that happening but arsenal still need to put in a good performance for their fans they've still had a good season and they shouldn't hang their heads too low. I'm going for a 2-1 Arsenal win here, but my betting tip is both teams to score. West Ham versus Leeds. Now, these are two teams that haven't had the greatest of seasons. We just spoke about West Ham coming off that 2-0 loss to Brentford, where they got completely outplayed, only had four shots the entire game. But West Ham have made it into the final of the Conference League, their first European final in 50 years. So I think all their focus will be on that. They're pretty safe sitting in 15th. They shouldn't be getting relegated, but they haven't been in good form in the Prem. Four losses out of their last five, but good, good news for them is that Leeds are winless in their last five. They're coming off a huge to be fair 2-2 draw against Newcastle where they just stayed in the game because they are a desperate team they need points because they don't want to get relegated they're sitting 18th they're sitting 18th and they need to win the remainder of the games if they don't want to get relegated so this is a this is a game Leeds can win West Ham I don't think all their focus will be on this game especially because of what happened in Netherlands I don't know if you saw the huge fight that broke out after the game with the fans the players if you haven't make sure you go check that out on Instagram or Twitter but I don't think West Ham are going to be up for this game game against Leeds. Leeds want to stay up in the Premier League. I'm going for a 2-1 Leeds win. My betting tip is Leeds to win. Brighton versus Southampton. Now we spoke about Brighton's huge 3-0 win over Arsenal where they really capitalized on Arsenal's mistakes and were just very, very clinical in the final third. But then they played Newcastle last night and it got absolutely obliterated. 4-1 Newcastle really showing how good they can be. Now Brighton sitting sixth with three wins from their last five will play probably Europa football next year, which is a great result for them. But I don't think there's any chance of them getting into those Champions League spots. Now Southampton coming off that 2-0 loss to Fulham. They're just a team in tatters at the moment and there really isn't much of a chance of them not getting relegated. They sit right at the bottom of the table and I am expecting Southampton to get relegated and I do think Brighton at home here will bounce back from that Newcastle performance and put on a good show. I'm going for a 3-0 Brighton win and my betting tip is Brighton at a handicap of minus one and a half. Manchester City taking on Chelsea. Now, if City beat Chelsea, they will win the Premier League. The, the title will be in their hands and they are this far away from completing the treble. They need to beat Chelsea to win the Premier League. They need to beat Inter Milan to win the Champions League and they need to beat Manchester United to win the FA Cup. And I think they're going to do all three of those things. Now, we spoke about Man City, their 3-0 win over Everton, very, very comfortable. But what was more impressive was their 4-0 win over Real Madrid, where they just absolutely obliterated them, showed them what how good they are. Pep finally into the final. Can he win it against Inter Milan? There will be videos on this coming in the next couple of days and weeks. Now, 
Chelsea, we spoke about their 2-2 draw against Nottingham Forest. Raheem Sterling getting those two goals for Chelsea. But again, their defense letting them down. Nottingham Forest only scoring with their only two shots on target, getting both of those goals. So I think Chelsea will be disappointed. It's a season to forget for Chelsea. They sit in 11th, but they, and they are unbeaten in their last two games. So as, as much as I would like Chelsea to draw this or win this, I just don't think it's going to happen. Man City are just way too good at the moment. I do think they're going to complete the treble. So I'm going for a 3-0 Man City win. And my betting tip is Man City at a handicap of minus one and a half. Newcastle versus Leicester. Now, Newcastle playing for one of those top four positions against Liverpool and Manchester United. And Leicester sit 19th, trying not to get relegated. It would be a real shame if Leicester did get relegated. I really, really like that team and what they stand for. Now, Newcastle, a 2-2 draw against Leeds and then bounce back and beat Brighton 4-1. We've spoken about all of that. Callum Wilson getting three goals in those two games. Leicester City, 3-0 loss to Liverpool. They are desperate. They need a win here. Otherwise, they're going to get relegated. But I just think this is going to be a very, very tough task against Newcastle and I do think this could be a very very high scoring game we're talking five six goals I'm going to play it a little bit safer and go for a 3-1 Newcastle win but my betting tip is Newcastle to win in over two and a half goals Guys, and that wraps up today's video. We only have one more game week left to decide the Premier League. I do think it will be decided this week for Manchester City. But without further ado, make sure you subscribe, leave us a like, and drop your predictions down in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.